that's what her uh, team's doing now is uh, doing a smear campaign to, you know, not admit that they were guilty. So apparently Amber and her team are still denying the fact that Amber ever did anything wrong and that the trial was not fair because if they accepted defeat, they are showing the public that Amber was actually in the wrong with Johnny. And so her team are trying to help her save face and keep her dignity even after the trial ended in favor of Depp. This were the words of an alleged juror who claims he was a juror in the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp case and he has even shown a juror badge of when he was summoned. So supposedly he was actually a juror. He claims that watching Elaine blaming everyone else apart from themselves is clear indication that Amber and her team don't want to accept having lost the defamation case to Johnny because then people would believe that Amber lied during her entire testimony and that Johnny was the one saying the truth. Elaine, Amber's lawyer has been appearing in shows claiming the verdict was a setback to women who experienced domestic abuse because if Amber had a mountain of evidence proving that Johnny was her abuser and she still lost to him, women without substantial evidence would be too afraid to speak out. Amber had an enormous amount of evidence. But look at all the women who have no evidence. Mm -hmm. All these women who suffer from domestic violence, domestic abuse, they don't have evidence. And basically what this jury said is unless you pull out your cell phone and you tape record your spouse beating you. Honestly speaking, she has actually destroyed chances of women being believed in court because people will start doubting women who have gone through real abuse, whether they had evidence or not, over the fact that if an enlisted celebrity had lied, so can everyone else. The verdict it could have been a setback to victims of abuse if Amber had honestly proved that she was the victim and she still lost. But Amber proved multiple times that it was never her who was the victim but Johnny Depp. This verdict has even opened people's eyes on the fact that even men go through domestic abuse and it's because of the prejudice from the society that these men suffer in silence. Afraid of telling the world because no one will believe them, Amber herself told Johnny through an audio that no one, not even the jury, was going to believe that he was a victim of domestic abuse because he was a man. But Johnny had told his truth and the entire world had listened and the jury's verdict was in favor of him. Please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the, ju see what the jury and judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, Man, I, I'm a victim too of domestic violence, and yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. Claiming Amber had a mountain of evidence is such an exaggeration when nearly every one of their evidence was not admissible due to either being speculative or fake. Camille Vasquez, Johnny's lawyer, objected so much during this trial, with most of her objections being sustained, proving that Amber's counsel was just incompetent. Objection, Your Honor. Leading. How Calls many? for hearsay. Yes. Objection, Your Honor. It's, it's, and hearsay. It's, it's, Sustained. Your Honor, it's prior consistent statements. It's, it's leading. It's Your Honor, here. Elaine also claimed that Amber lost because the juror watched the ongoing social media and based their verdict on what the public was saying and also the fact that Johnny is a celebrity. Well, jurors are told not to watch anything on social media that would affect their judgment. And even if they see or read anything, they are told not to base whatever they've seen when coming to a verdict for the case, meaning whether or not the jurors for this case were seeing what's going on online. They base their verdict on the evidences and testimony from court and nothing else. Also claiming that Johnny won because he's a celebrity is just BS. Isn't Amber a celebrity too? Instead of pointing fingers, Amber and her team should just accept what has happened because regardless of whether they are going to appeal, everyone in the world has watched this and we know who the real abuser and the real victim is. Having a mountain of fake evidence was never going to help Amber's case at all. She brought edited pictures of herself, claiming Johnny had hit her but witnesses say that after Johnny left they saw her for about six days and in those days she never had bruises. Miraculously six days after meeting Johnny she had bruises on her face and she was filing for a restraining order from her husband. She claims they never saw her bruises because she never left the house without a tinted moisturizer but apparently she forgot to apply the moisturizer on the day she was going to sue her husband and also the day the paparazzi magically appeared to take pictures of her battered face, specifically on her right cheek. And what footage was TMZ trying to capture at the LA courthouse on May 27th, 2016? We were trying to capture uh, Amber leaving the courthouse and an alleged bruise on the right side of her face. She lied and was outed for her lies. The least she could do is to apologize to Johnny for all she has put him through. And to all women and men who are real victims of abuse, for using their pain and misery as a way to increase her popularity. Maybe after her apology, her life will be more bearable for her. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.